Uh, today I'm smoking a Norteño by Drew Estates. Uh, honestly, I've never tried one of these before. Excited to give it a shot. Um, typically like almost anything that Drew Estate put out, puts out. Uh, this one's made by Martin Herrera, I believe. Um, anyway, today I wanted to talk about cigar storage and more importantly, cheap cigar storage. Um, anytime that you're looking at humidors and you're talking about spending hundreds of dollars, um, you'll always see the like acrylic humidors or uh, in cheaper circumstances, the Tupperdor. Um, a Tupperdor is basically just a Tupperware container that is airtight that you can store cigars in. Um, it's not necessarily meant for long-term storage, but it can be used for long-term storage. Uh, I happen to use one uh, anytime that I'm seasoning a new humidor or I'm doing a rotation day or I'm re-seasoning a humidor, which I do annually. Uh, but if you look up Tupperdor on YouTube or Google, uh, most likely you're gonna find this exact box. This thing is $20, I think, on Amazon. Um, it's not bad, it's a decent price. It can hold probably 50 to 75 cigars and uh, there's some Spanish cedar inserts that will fit uh, really nicely in here. Um, but if we're talking storing boxes or um, a couple hundred, maybe 300 cigars, this thing just isn't gonna cut it. You're gonna have to buy uh, three or four of these to store that and now we're talking 60 80 bucks to store your cigars There's a cheaper option that not a lot of people think about uh, The benefit of this obviously is that it is a food grade plastic. So uh, Theoretically anything that your cigar comes into contact with you want to be food grade I don't know if that's necessarily the case um, But that's the big benefit of this. It is food grade plastic. However, the downside to this is uh, the overall durability of plastic it's a very cheap plastic. Uh, in fact, the first day I got this, I dropped it from about two feet uh, and the lid cracked almost instantly. Very flimsy plastic, not very rigid. Um, and it's it's not uh, like bendable flimsy, but like I'm gonna break this flimsy. Um, it's very brittle. Uh, also, when I dropped it, uh, this little hinge broke off. Uh, which is unfortunate because now it doesn't really seal very well on this side. Um, so again, not really used long-term storage. However, go to uh, your closest Target store. Most of you have a Target store. Um, and go to their plastic storage section. There you will find uh, something similar to this. This is a waterproof storage container. Uh, you know, it has the exact same blue seal around the top. However, this one has six different latches, four on each side, two on the ends. Um, overall, I think it has a better seal and this thing is incredibly durable. Uh, it stores an insane amount of cigars. I think I have uh, 320 cigars in here right now. And there's honestly still some room if I were to re rearrange some things, but I move some stuff around for some airflow. Um, but this thing I have tossed around, I've thrown it around. It doesn't bend very well. Um, if I like really going at it, maybe I can get it to bend, but it takes a lot to bend. And it's not brittle plastic. You can see here, um, I, can, I can flex that out and it's not gonna break. So this other one, it breaks almost instantly. Um, incredibly rugged, incredibly durable. And the best part, this thing was $14.99 for a 30 quart uh, Tupperdor that holds just an insane amount of cigars. Uh, in fact, I have two of these Spanish cedar trays that are just packed full of cigars um, on top of, uh, I think, 10 different five packs of cigars. Uh, I have a box of Macanudos there on the side. Um, I have a two boxes of obsidians. I have an obsidian white noise. I have an obsidian black. Uh, and I have uh, these Ramon Bueso exclusivos also in here on top of just a ton of other cigars. Uh, this thing just holds so much. Uh, and it's less price than the $20 one that you're gonna find on Amazon. Uh, a phenomenal option. I can store 300 uh, cigars in here with five different Bovita packs. Uh, hygrometer, boxes of cigars. Um, this thing is just loaded full of cigars for $14.99. Uh, and it's 33 quarts, 34 quarts. 
the next size up is like 77 quarts. So double this size. Um, I mean like giant amount of storage. Uh, and it's like 21 bucks. So a uh, dollar more than what you would spend here. Um, plus the durability of this thing is quite honestly just garbage. <laughs> I threw it and it literally uh, just broke. It, it is it is in pieces right now. Uh, $20 on Amazon, yeah, not really that great. Uh, $15 at Target, phenomenal, great. I'm not gonna throw this because it has my cigars in it, uh, but you can toss this thing around all day and it's gonna stay nice and sturdy. Now, if you're trying to store things in a cabinet, maybe the smaller box is for you, but again, save yourself the headache, save yourself the issue of durability. Uh, this thing will hold way more than that $20 box ever will. You're gonna save yourself five bucks. You're gonna give yourself more space. Uh, it still holds as many of these uh, Spanish cedar drawers that you want. In fact, it could probably hold, I don't know, another three, so five of those, plus room on the sides for whatever else. Uh, definitely worth it. Uh, if you want uh, directly shipped to your house, you can just get it from Target.com. Walmart probably has something similar. Um, I'm just partial to Target. So uh, there you go, cheap option for a Tupperdoor, 15 bucks. Um, especially if you're trying to travel with cigars, easier to throw them in there. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, much appreciated. I'll see you on the next one.